everyone, it's Sherry here for SimonSaysStamp.com and I wanted to show you some really fun things about the Fuse tool. But first I'm going to show you what actually comes in the box. So I'll start off by the actual tool itself and it's not plugged in right now so it's not hot. But you get this little roller tip that just screws into the top of the tool. And this is what actually seals your pages. So it rolls along. Once it gets hot, it kind of melts the plastic, and then that gives you that little stitched line. So when you're ready to use that, you just go ahead and screw that into the tip of the tool, and then you'll plug that in and get it really hot. I like to let mine get hot for about 15 minutes before I get started. Also, in the package, you get this little stand and this just holds your tool in place while you're working uh, so that you don't burn your surface. Um, I haven't figured out if it's this way or that way, but I think it kind of sits better that way. Um, when I'm working on like um, a different surface, I have used some foam squares on the back to kind of place it so that it doesn't move around because it is very lightweight, the whole tool. Also in the pack you get a little mm. cutting blade and this cutting blade is great for if you want to create an opening in a pocket or if you want to seal around a shape using uh, just to seal an entire pocket. So this is just a little really fine tip cutting blade. Also you get this really great ruler and it has this opening and I use this the most when I'm doing fusing together a pocket. And it has a really nice guide it has a nice curved edge if you wanted to do something a little more fancy. But also in the back, I wanted to show you, it has these little feet that really keep this in place from slipping. And when you're working with your pockets, that plastic tends to get a really um, slippery. So the backing on that ruler is really great for that. Also, I like to work on my Simon Says Stamp um, stamping pad here. I, I use the grid lines a lot. And I notice that when I'm fusing, it doesn't burn through and it's just a really great backing for when I'm using my fuse tool. Okay, so I've let this heat up for about 15 minutes or so. I like to get it really good and hot. And I'm using the Simon's Stamp uh, envelopes, and we use these to put our stamps in. It's a little heavier plastic, but it still works really great to create a little pocket. So I'll show you an example. Uh, this one I've created, and if you can see really closely, you see the little stitch lines and it holds in all those sequins and it's really kind of fun. You can insert this into a card or put it on a card. Okay, so what I want to do first is kind of create an edge and an area that I want to seal up and I've die cut the word hello and I've put it on some scrapbook paper and I'm going to put this in the bottom of a little shaker area. So what I want to do first is I'm going to go ahead and seal up the bottom of this. So what I like to do with this pad that I have underneath me is I use the grid to line up my my plastic there and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this ruler on that bold line and that helps me line up to make sure I get a really nice square fuse. So all I'm doing right now is just sealing the bottom. I'm gonna take it kind of slow this is a little bit thicker plastic, like I said, and with this really nice and hot, it'll seal up perfectly. So I'm just running that through and just using that center line as a guide. When that's sealed, it kind of sticks to the paper. So you can see it's kind of stuck on there. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull it apart. And when I'm working with an open envelope, I don't seal it from the open area down to the closed area. I seal from the closed area up to the open area and that's because sometimes this might shift and if it does it's going to create like a ripple in your plastic. So what I want to do now is just seal up the side edge just a little bit and again I'll use this guide. Just kind of line that up. Remember I said that it has those feet on there. Actually I want to turn this this way. It gives me something better to grip. You do not want to touch um, that tip of the fuse tool. It is very hot and it will remind you of like a wood burning tool back in the day when we used to do wood burning. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and seal that up, going nice and slow on the heavier plastic. Pick that up. Remember it sticks a little bit. Pull it apart. And now I have a nice starting point. 
So what I can do now is to go ahead and, actually I can go ahead and just lay this in here since it's the start of my little shaker card here. So once I have that lined up, I'll go ahead and lay my ruler down. <clears throat> and now I can go ahead and seal the side of my little area. Okay, so once I have that done, now I can start sealing in and creating a little shaker. Let me get this lined up on my... This acetate or clear stuff is so slippery that if you needed to, you could put some washi tape down to kind of hold it in place while you're moving things around. So now I just need to seal the top of that. And I've created a cute little pocket for my greeting. So the next thing I want to do is to go ahead and add in a little row of sequins. And for this one, I'm just going to use some Moonshine, and these are by Simon Says Stamp. And at this point also, I can go ahead and clip off my edge. I'll go ahead and do that before I add my sequins. Just makes it a little bit easier to handle this, this pocket. And it is a little staticky in there, so I'll make sure you get them all down. But that gives you a really nice, cute little display of sequins there. So when I seal these up, I want to make sure that it, they are as far down as they'll go. And you can use this tool to kind of push them down a little bit. But when you go to seal this, you want to make sure that it's really nice and flat. If it's not flat, you won't get a good seal. So I'm going to seal pretty closely, and I'm going to press really good on my little ruler here, and then I'm going to go ahead and seal this up. I know I got a good seal because it's stuck. Okay, so now you can see that it's enclosed my sequins and those won't come out. Okay, so I've added another piece of paper in here. I've not sealed up the top yet and I'm going to place this other die in here and just let that float around. Oops, not behind. Let me grab it. If you want to stick your dies down with uh, some tape runner you can do that. I'm just see if I can get my big fingers in there. But I'm just going to let that set in there. And I wanted to show you that you can do um, other little pockets or cascading cards as well. So what I've done is I've created a little pocket here with my granddaughter Melody's picture. And let me scoot this smile over just a hair. Grab a bone folder or some other tool to help you kind of maneuver these things a little bit. Okay, so once you have everything ready, so I've left myself a little bit of room at the top. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and align this to that paper and that side edge there. And I'm going to use a post-it note to hold everything in place because I know plastic on plastic is really, really going to slip around. But I don't want to add any post-it note to where I'm going to be sealing that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and line this up on my grid and put my ruler down and this will be my last pocket or my last uh, container area that I'm doing so I'm going to go ahead and press that down really well fuse tool is really hot I'm going to take this really nice and slow since I have several areas to go through so I'm just going to roll this really really nice and slow over those three layers and then kind of once I get to the other side where it's just regular, I'm just going to go over regular. Okay. So go ahead and pull that up. Pull that up. 
And now I have a cute little flip pocket. I've also added um, some paper on the back side of that piece. So I can cut this up, put it on a card, or do whatever I want with it. And so that's how I do my fuse tool to create areas where I can add in some die cuts and papers and sequins and just kind of make some little flip areas that are really, really stable. I can put these in my planners or, or display them in my living room. So I hope I've shown you some tips and tricks on how to use the fuse tool and thanks so much for watching.